You guys, I have a little bit of a different week this week. So I have my little um, adjustment for this week's schedule right here. Today is Tuesday. I don't normally do videos on Tuesday, but I'm doing one today um, because I'm not going to be doing a video tomorrow, which is Wednesday. That's my usual day. Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be live here on my channel with Laura Jewelry, etc. All right, live jewelry auction with Laura Jewelry, etc. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday. I will put the link down in the description box for the live so you can click it and set your notification. And then Friday will be the usual purse sale. Um, I am very excited because I got um, a very large lot of purses from an online auction. It was actually, I won multiple lots. Um, I don't really know what is in the lots, like particularly, they just gave like, like one photo of all the purses. Um, from what I saw when I picked them up, there were some that are vintage and some that were new with the tag from Marshalls. So, um... I won, okay, so from what I was able to count in the photos, there were 102, 102 purses that I was able to count, um, but, you know, we'll see. So what I'm going to do starting Friday, this purse sale, is I'm going to um, go through one of the lots of purses with you guys and sell them right there in the video. Um, so it'll be kind of like a mystery uh, purse unboxing. Um, I will probably also have an additional mystery purse unboxing. I'm, I got one from ThreadUp and one from America's Thrift Supply, so whichever one comes in first. So Friday's purse sale will be very interesting. Then I think next week I might do a, a whole video just going through a few more of the lots of purses. And then next Friday, I'll include another lot. I think I won one, two, three, four, five, six. I won six lots of purses, okay? So um, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed right here. It's free. And make sure you cl um, s click that bell to all so you're notified every time I make a new video. All right, so just keep in mind, tomorrow there's no video. Thursday, live auction with Laura, Jewelry, etc. on my channel. Friday purse sale, including some of the haul that I won from the America, uh, from the online auction. I will put some of the photos um, here so you guys can see a little bit of what I'm talking about on what I won. Okay, so I hope you guys are excited because I am to go through all that with you. So today's video is going to be part one of many. I had a wonderful subscriber reach out to me, not even, they just sent this. So I got a uh, surprise friend mail from a subscriber. This is the card from her. Um, I got a large flat rate box full of jewelry. Um, I did sift through um, some of it. There's probably about three or four of these gallon Ziploc bags. So it'll probably be like another, you know, maybe seven part series. I'm not really sure. But if you're interested in anything you see, you can email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com and um, I thank this subscriber very very much I reached out to her already obviously you know when I got it and I was very touched and brought a little tear to my eye because she said very nice things in the card um, I'll just pick one thing and she said 
you are an angel and have touched many people with your kindness. So um, I just wanted to say thank you again and let's see what we got. All right, so I will keep a sold list down in the comments section. So if you just scroll up on the video and see all the comments, the sold list will be there. So just check that out before you email me and make sure you refresh the page, uh, the video after you watch so you can get the most up-to-date sold list. All right, so let's see what we got. Like I said, I did go through some of this. I did not go through all of it. Um, like something like this, I did not go through. So um, I just like to, you know, be honest with you guys. Um, all right, this looks like a bunch of earrings. So let's pull out what we can match. So we got these gold tone. I can't turn it over. There we go. Just like an acrylic, they are very pretty. I can put brand new backs on for you if anybody purchases these. These are in good shape. Let's do $4. See, I saw this one. These are just acrylic, kind of like a champagne kind of color. Uh, let's do three on those. We have these, these are like a light brown. They are acrylic as well, um, like a kidney back. We'll do $3. These are very pretty. Oh, we're missing a rhinestone there and there and there. And there and there. <laughs> okay, so these are gonna be crafting. These will be a dollar. These look like they're like a gunmetal, but there's a lot of discoloration. I thought maybe that would be the color of them, but no, because it's uneven. So those will be in craft. These are a gold tone like link. I don't see any maker marks. They are in good shape. I will put brand new backs on them if anybody purchases. Uh, we'll do these for four. Do a focus check. Ooh, these are pretty. These say Carol Lee. And they have all their rhinestones. Very pretty. Like these. So let's do five on these. Super pretty. Carol Lee. These look like they're marked. This says Roman. Okay, I think we have all the rhinestones there. Let's do five on these. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, this is an earring. That's cool. Look at that. No markings. So it's missing one of the backs, but that's okay. We'll put brand new backs on them. Silver tone, uh, like articulated bar. Three bucks. This one's missing a back, but I will put new ones on. Not a problem. Little gold tone, like seashells almost. Three dollars. And these, these have a little bit of wear. Yeah, so we'll pass on those. Those will be craft. Okay. So this is a gold tone chain necklace with these little squares that are different metals. So you got the copper tone, silver tone, gold tone. Good condition, it just has a mismatch chain, I mean, um, clasp. It does have an extender. Without it, it's a seven and a half inch drop. Let's do $5. Okay, 
that says Soho Design. It is gold tone, really nice Rolo chain. It's like a matte gold tone. Okay, so it does have a little bit of wear. I mean, it's super pretty though. Um, I'll do this for only $2 since it has some wear. This is a multi-strand necklace, a nice uh, vintage spring ring clasp, and each, uh, every so often there is a station here with some faux pearls. Super cute. It looks like there was a repair right there. See the difference? But nothing too major. Everything else looks like it's in good shape. It is a 14 and a half inch drop. Um, I will do $4 since there is a little bit of discoloration on that uh, repair. A nice lotus flower maybe? Super pretty, silver tone, brooch. Um, it may just need a cleaning, there's a little bit, you know, a little bit of cleaning might be needed. It's quite large. I'll do $5. These are little charms. They are ballerinas. Actually, well, they're probably pendants, but you can do either. And there are four of them. They look like they're in brand new condition. Um, I will do $3 each. We have a ring, but it is missing a couple of stones. So this will be in crafting for a dollar. This one, this is, oh, this is a pin, but it's broken. A bowling pin, so that will be a dollar. These are sweater clips. Keep your sweater closed or lapel clips. Keep them on, clip them onto your uh, collar. They have a faux pearl, but it looks like the coating on the faux pearl is like completely gone on the top. A little bit of wear on the chain. So these will just be a dollar in craft. This is by Stella and Dot. It is a long gold tone necklace. Let me get this kink out. There we go. It's got a little bit of wear on the pendant, but if you wear it to the back, I think you should be all right. There's just a couple little spots. So there is an extender. Without it, it's coming in at 13 inches to the pendant. So I'll just do $4 since there's some wear. This is Cookie Lee. It is a long gold tone necklace with these little beads. There's very, 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 very little wear, just a little bit. It's a 17 inch drop, but with this kind of chain, you can definitely clip the clasp anywhere if you want it a little bit shorter. So let's do $5.
We have little starfish earrings. How cute. No mark. Sometimes on earrings, they only mark one. Nope, nothing. Gold tone, little starfish, very pretty, very good condition, um, $4. Here are more earrings. You know what? I think I'm going to do that deal again. Let's do buy two pairs of earrings, get one free. So buy two, get one. And I'll put that in the beginning of the video and in the title. These are really pretty clip-ons. These are Avon. They have the little dot there. Very good condition. They would probably sit like that on the ear. So let's do these for $5. Buy two, get one of equal or lesser value. Then we have this guy. He's cool. He's um, like a white enamel, kind of an off-white. And then you got all the rhinestones. Very pretty. He opens like so. A little bit dirty in there, but I don't see any maker marks. And he is a six-inch circumference. Let's do uh, six dollars. We have some tree earrings, green enamel, very pretty. It's got like a silver tone um, ribbon or tinsel. We'll do these for four. These look cool. Don't see any maker on these. These are a gold and silver tone with the black rhinestone. Very cool, little huggy earrings. Uh, four bucks, remember, buy two, get one free. These are dangly vintage, where's the other one? Rhinestone earrings. Pretty good shape, pretty good shape, excuse me. We'll do these for $3, buy two, get one free. These are like little loops, loop-de-loop -loop vintage rhinestone earrings, good shape, $3, buy two, get one free. And then these are super pretty, love these. Four dollars, buy two, get one free. This is gorgeous. Figaro chain. Long, it does have an extender, but again, this type of chain, you can clip the clasp on any of these if you want it short. Very pretty. So without the extender, it's coming in at a 16 inch drop to the pendant. Super pretty, $6. Here is a silver tone rope chain with, what's, what is it? Little rhinestones, super cute. No markings. Extender, seven inch on the drop without the extender. It's quite the long extender. <laughs> Let's do four on that. Ooh, I see some rings. So for bags of stuff like this, like I did not go through all this stuff. Um, I didn't even really open anything. I kind of just like looked through the bag, you know what I mean? So I know some of you get upset when I go through the jewelry before I go on camera, but I do have my jewelry subscription boxes that I have to, uh, you know, collect jewelry for throughout the month. So if you're interested in finding out more about the monthly jewelry subscription, 
I'll leave a link down in the description box. These are marked, I think that says Monet. Where's my loop? Yes, tis Monet. These are cute. These are like um, like an elbow. <laughs> like a corner earring. So they would like uh, hug under your earlobe really nice. So they are, they just probably need a cleaning and matching backs. I can do that, not a problem. Let's do $5 on the Monet. Let's see what these are. These are all kinds of, there we go. So these don't have a mark. These are swirlies. They would sit in your ear just like so. Really great condition. Actually, wait, these are Avon on the post right there, back. So $4 on those. And then these, always check the posts and inside the earring for markings. Yep, see, look at this. There you go, Monet. So these are also Monet. Um, they have a little itty bitty bitty bit of wear. Not too bad. We'll do those for four. Remember, buy two, get one free on the earrings. What happened here? It's stuck in the bag. Oh, geez. All right. There we go. Okay, this looks like, yep, New York & Co. Silver tone with these lovely acrylic um, beads. You got some silver tone, three strand. It does have an extender. Without it, the first layer is about an eight inch drop. So really pretty, um, really nice condition. We'll do $5. All right, now let's get to this bag of, bag of rings, a ding dings. All right. We have a future, Futura watch ring. It's actually in pretty, good, pretty nice condition. I would have to change the battery. Not sure if it's moving because there's no seconds hand. Um, but I would do this for $5. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like this one. I don't see any markings. Darn, it's too small. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, is that a little bit of wear or maybe just dirty? I think it might just be dirty. This is super pretty. Yeah, it's not going to fit me. It's a six. That is really, really, really pretty. If that fit me, I'd be keeping it. But size six, let's do $6. And it's very heavy. It's very um, significant. So I don't know who makes it, but I think $6 is a great deal. Here's a little like chain link stretchy um, ring. It is in very nice condition. We'll do $4. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, I like this one too. Any markings? No. It's kind of like a uh, mod. Maybe even a little bit Egyptian-y with like the shapes. It is adjustable, but I don't know if I would pull on this too much. You might just snap it right in half. Cute. 
size eight. Really? That finger is a size eight? Jeez. Um, five bucks. This says eight. Look at this honker. We are not missing any stones. I don't think. Nope. No um, markings. Yeah, this is definitely an eight. It's a little tight. There we go. Let's like talk about a cocktail ring. Oh yeah, uh, very pretty. Pretty nice condition. Tis an eight. We'll do uh, five bucks on it. Ooh, pretty. Faux turquoise, silver tone, no markings. That's pretty. I'm going to stick with a seven on this. Five bucks. No markings on this one. I used to wear big hunger rings like this all the time. Uh, pretty. Just a little dirty right there. Got the white enamel and rhinestones. This looks small. Super pretty, gold tone, excellent condition. Size six, five bucks. And then we have the stretchy blue enamel with the rhinestone flower. With the, yeah, flower ring. <laughs> Four dollars. We have a little angel, a little pendant. We'll do two bucks. Another New York and Co. Tis. This one's gunmetal. Three strand again. With purple beads, purple acrylic beads. Uh, you got these circular with the purple rhinestones. Pretty. Seems like it's in good shape. I think it'll probably be about the same. Yeah, eight, eight inch drop on the first strand. We'll do five bucks. All right, got a tangle. So this has got some wear. I think it was supposed to be gold tone and now it's a little bit silver tone. Yeah, see the color difference up here? So we're gonna put that into crafting. This is a nice silver tone chunky chain with these large graduated balls. Oh, they almost remind me of ornaments, tree ornaments. Pretty, it is in good condition. Nine inch drop, $5. Silver tone, double strand, acrylic, really pretty uh, faux pearls and some greens. Very, very pretty. It does have an extender. First drop is at an eight and a half inch. Can go longer, $5. Ooh, this looks nice. That says, that usually says Japan, but let's see. Not quite sure, but usually it's Japan.
These remind me of those, what are they called? The non pareil Those candies, the chocolate candies with the white little dot sprinkles. Okay, so this is pretty. It looks like somebody may have tried to fix this and put the wrong strand on here because the, right, am I right? Yeah, so I just have to switch. See how it's like crisscrossed? It's not supposed to be like that. So that's a bit, that's a quick and easy fix. I can do that. Otherwise it's in really cool, really nice condition. Pretty neat. Let's do a total length measurement. 14 to 16 inches, and I will do $8. Ooh, this is pretty. This is definitely a type of Jasper, and it's faceted, very cool. Got some glass beads and acrylic beads. Very, very, very pretty. I like this. No maker mark. I like the blue, really brightens up the necklace. You got some of the earth tones and the blue really makes it pop. It's an eight inch drop to the pendant and then you have an extender. Let's do $8. This is 1928, beautiful black acrylic beads with some gold tone. Hook clasp, let's uh, give you guys a full length measurement. It can go from fifth, nope, 16 inches to 18 inches. So let's do that one for six. This one has a really pretty heart toggle. Ooh, look at these beads. I don't know what that is. Like a composite turquoise maybe with the copper. That is really pretty. Faux pearls, but they're like a champagne color. 17 and a half inches total length. Gorgeous. Uh, let's do 10 on this one. This is gunmetal mesh, uh, four strand. Long, long and layered. It does have an extender, but without it, the drop to the first layer is 17 inches. Drop to the first layer. Good condition, just gotta get that uh, string off of there, $5. have what we have this is very pretty gorgeous a little mother of pearl piece in the center nice chain I forget what they call this chain I'm just gonna call it an s chain <laughs> nice vintage necklace excellent condition eight and a half inches on the drop six dollars What does that say? Royette. Uh, 
think you're just silver tone. Yes. But are you a necklace? Because you look a little small to be a necklace. Yeah, it's only seven and a quarter inches. So that's, um, you know, that could be a collar necklace for some. 14 and a half inches. Let's do five. Oops, sorry. This is like a antiqued gold tone with the shell discs. Very pretty, good condition. Seven and a half inch on the drop. You do have an extender, $5. And this I saw was a Damascene. So we have a Damascene bird fan brooch. This is a trombone clasp. You pull it open to release the pin. Then you put it back in and close it. It's, it does have a little bit of a bend in the pin. Um, I'll do six on it. This is S. SHA, I believe, is a, an Avon brand. Very pretty, kind of Aztec-y uh, gold tone statement necklace. It does have a nice chunky Rolo chain, so you can clasp the clasp at any of those loops. It's a 10-inch drop, but like I said, you can use any of these links. So really great condition. Let's do $6. This is silver tone. Oh, what happened? I think it broke. Yeah, something happened. Maybe not. Maybe it's just... I don't know. I don't think it's broken. All these little rhinestones. I'll just do a dollar on it because I'm not quite sure what's happening here. All right, gold tone with faux pearls. Very pretty, dainty, simple necklace. Really great condition. There is an extender but without it, it's a seven and a half inch drop. Five dollars. That was pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This looks like a gold tone chain marked Japan. Very pretty, very good condition. Nine inch drop. Check the clasp. Okay, I think we're good. Five dollars. Okay, this one is J Crew. Oh, I don't think I've seen I don't see Silver Tone J Crew often. That's pretty cool. And then you got this little bauble pendant. Pretty good shape. I don't see any missing rhinestones. It does have an extender, but you can definitely use any of these links if you wanted it shorter. It's a 12-inch drop. Let's do uh Six dollars. Ooh, 
these are Koro. They are clip-ons. There is a little bit of wear to the white enamel, so I'll do these for three. Remember, earrings are buy two, get one free. Perlina, that's a good, that's a good brand. Genuine leather. Perlina makes some really nice handbags, some purses. This looks like it's in great condition. Nice big watch. I will change the battery. Just need some cleanup on the back. I don't think it was ever worn because the holes all look good. Um, so I will change the battery and let's do $10 on it. Really great, really great brand, great color. All right, so this one is silver tone. I don't see any maker marks. And then it's got all these lovely layers of white acrylic beads. Pretty, excellent condition. Uh, 11 inch on the drop on the, at the first layer. You can make it longer. Five dollars. All right, this looks nice. This is a like a those gold dip leaves on a gold tone chain. Pretty. The chain uh, has a t actually no. A Thought it may have had a little bit of wear, but I don't really think so. 11 inch drop, um, five bucks. La 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 la. Okay, got it. Actually, I'm gonna... Okay, this one is very pretty. This is silver tone. You got the mother of pearl shell dyed with the silver tone, really pretty. It does have an extender, eight and a half inch on the drop, and uh, we'll do $5. Gold tone, again, very like Aztec-y, tribal -y. Gold tone, I really like the chain, very cool. It is super long. It is a 14 inch drop to the pendants, $5. Silver tone, then it drops to these um, dyed halite beads. Teeny little bit of wear on these uh, little fasteners here. Um, you can definitely put this chain, any put the clasp anywhere on this chain. It's about a seven inch drop to the first layer without the extender, $5. A bag of goodies, a bag of goodies. Okay. This is silver tone. These kind of beads, you can check the sides for 925 marks or ALE is Pandora. But I do not see any of these that are marked. So we just have a silver tone little charm bracelet. The blue are glass. It can go from seven inches to eight and a half inches. Good condition, five bucks. Now here is an undyed halite. That's what halite looks like naturally, four bucks. 
We have this little magnetic necklace or bracelet, however you want to assemble it. It has some hematite and cloisonne, $5. This is a nice bracelet. Let me get this. What happened here? There we go. Silver tone with all these nice rhinestones. I don't see any markings. Toggle clasp. Seven inch. Five dollars. Remember guys to give me the timestamp of the items you're interested in and check the sold list down in the comment section before you email. Okay, this says Q Ray. Okay, I have sold bracelets by this brand before and they can do pretty well. Um, let's, let's look into that for a second. So let's go to eBay and we're gonna type in Q Ray bracelet. See, look at that. There we go. That is the one that I have. Oh wait, no, that's mesh, sorry, no. It would be this one. So it's a uh, he like health and wellness bracelet and it's uh, ionized. But I mean, look at these prices, and they're all used. And it's plated, so it's gold plated and silver plated. Let's see what the solds look like. Okay, so we're a little bit lower on the solds. No, oh, some of them are. Wow, I mean, it's really, they're really all over the place, huh? Okay, so for mine, let's measure it. It is a seven inch, seven inch circumference. I will do um, 15, how's that for a deal? Here's another little toggle bracelet, silver tone, and it has these pretty, purple rhinestones, eight inch on this one, $5. This kind of looks like it would be sterling. There's no markings though. Nope. I don't think it is, but very pretty nonetheless. It does have glass beads on it. It's a seven and a half inch bracelet and I will do $5. This has little dolphins, silver tone. Yes, yes. This might be an anklet. Well, it's nine inches. But I think with this chain, you can definitely hook it here and make it eight inches or here and make it seven inches. <laughs> so let's do five on that. And then this one is silver tone with some abalone. Seven inches on this one, fold over clasp, $5. This is just a gold tone bracelet, seven inches, $5. This has little frosted, maybe glass pieces and brown, silver tone, seven and a half inches, $5. What's this little thing? This is tiny. Don't see any markings on this. 
now. Okay. So silver tone with these little purple and white faux pearls. It is a seven inch bracelet, $5. All right. Um, I was going to try to finish this bag, but I don't think I'm going to get to it. So we will stop here. And then next week on Monday, I will finish the bag and maybe go into uh, some more from this lot. So thank you again to this subscriber who sent me this uh, friend mail box of jewelry. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to check the sold list down in the comments section. Email me with a timestamp and a brief description of what you're looking to purchase. All my information is always down in the description box, which is right under the video. You might have to click more or something to open up the box to see all my information. Make sure you gave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys again for watching, and we will see you in the next one.